Hello students, this is Mrs. Jennifer De Cruz from Leelavati Lalji Dayal High School and College of Commerce. And in today's Science 1 class students, we shall study chapter number 5, Heat. So before starting with this interesting chapter, students, let me tell you all that the total weightage of this chapter is 5 marks with option and 3 marks without option. So let's begin with this interesting chapter. So students, in this chapter, we shall study the following topics. First, latent heat. Second, regelation. Third, anomalous behavior of water. Fourth, dew point and humidity. And fifth, specific heat capacity. So let's begin. So the first topic, students, is latent heat. Okay. So in the previous standard, we've already learned about heat and its different types of heat transfer. So heat, students, is a form of energy. When there is a change of state of substance, that is from solid to liquid or liquid to gases or solid to gases, heat energy is absorbed by the substance or heat energy is removed from the substance at constant temperature. So students, this heat energy is called as the latent heat. So latent heat per unit mass of the substance is called as the specific latent heat. Okay. So what is latent heat, students? It is nothing but the amount of heat energy absorbed at constant temperature by unit mass of a solid to convert into liquid phase is called as the specific heat of fusion, okay? So, and that the constant temperature, that is called the melting point of the substance, okay? So, the amount of the heat energy absorbed at constant temperature by unit mass of a liquid to convert into a gaseous phase is called as the specific heat of evaporation. So, students, uh, you know, the constant temperature is also called as the boiling point of the substance. So let's move ahead. So the second topic, students, is regulation. So what is regulation? It is defined as the phenomenon in which the ice melts to water below zero degrees Celsius on the application of pressure and refreezes back to ice on the removal of pressure. So basically, students, regulation demonstrates the idea of compressing the ice and turning it into water under pressure. And when the pressure is removed, it solidifies again. So this is what regulation is all about. Moving ahead, students, we come to the anomalous behavior of water. So what is anomalous behavior of water is what we will study right now, students. So water, it shows some exceptional behavior. That is when it is heated at zero degrees Celsius, it contracts instead of expanding. And it happens till it reaches four degrees Celsius. So the volume of a given amount of water is minimum at four degrees Celsius. Therefore, its density is maximum. After 4 degrees Celsius, water starts expanding. And before 4 degrees Celsius, the volume increases and therefore the density decreases. This means that water has the maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. So students, ice, which is a bad conductor of heat, okay, that is why the layer of ice at the surface does not allow the transfer of heat from the water to the atmosphere. And as the water below the layer of the ice remains at four degrees Celsius, fish and other aquatic animals and plants can survive in it, okay? So uh, the example of anomalous behavior of water is the water in lakes and ponds freezes only at the top layer and at the bottom, it does not. But if the water freezes at the bottom also, then the animal and plant life would not be possible, okay? So you can see the anomalous behavior of water in the diagram that is given below. 
that at the freezing of the ice takes place okay at the top layer and at the bottom it does not okay so let's move ahead let us now study about dew point and humidity so students unsaturated air at a certain temperature is taken and its temperature is decreased okay so a temperature is reached at which the air becomes saturated with vapor and this temperature is called the dew point temperature so students the dew point is closely linked to the relative humidity okay so which is the ratio of the pressure of water vapor in the parcel of air relative to the saturation pressure of water vapor in that same parcel of air at a specific temperature so students relative humidity that is rh is always expressed as a percentage okay so let's move ahead students and here we have a uh, the specific heat capacity the last topic okay so what is specific heat capacity students so basically the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a unit mass of an object by 1 degree is called as the specific heat of that object okay so it is always expressed in various units like joule per j uh, you know joule per kg degree celsius then erg per uh, gram degree celsius then kilo calorie per kilogram degree celsius so example of specific heat of water is 1.0 okay so uh, here we can see the heat change also so if heat is exchanged between a hot and cold object the temperature of the cold object goes on increasing due to gain of energy and the temperature of the hot object goes on decreasing due to loss of temperature of both the objects attain the same value okay so mercury students is 0.033 okay so if a system of two object is isolated from the environment by keeping it inside a heat resistance box then no energy can either leave the box or enter the box in this situation students we can say heat energy lost by the hot object is equal to heat energy gained by the cold object okay so in due course what happens the two objects they attain the same temperature okay so with this students we've completed the chapter heat thank you